Welcome back to another episode of Author Reads. Today we're going to have Jane Rosenberg LaForge reading an excerpt from her book, An Unsuitable Princess. I had previously interviewed Jane on another podcast called Fair Folk at Work, where we had discussed the influence of the physical environment on the creative process that happened in Agora in the spring and early summer. At any rate, the interview had an excerpt from her novel, The Unsuitable Princess, which takes place in large part at the Renaissance Fair. And so here is Jane Rosenberg LaForge talking about something you might feel at the Renaissance Pleasure Fair. Do you have a poem about fair just happen to have handy by you? Well, I have some poems uh, handy by me from An Unsuitable Princess, if you can give me a moment to to find them. Ah. Well, take all the time that you will, because I am a power Zoom user, and I have paid big, big dollars so that I can go over 40 minutes with the Zoom call. I don't oh, mean okay. to brag or anything. Well, that's that's very impressive. I'm definitely impressed. But here's a poem that the character that, or I should say my alter ego writes to her lover, who is also is the alter ego of a particular fair person. And, and that's all explained in the book. But this is a very short poem. I too often think of salt as my only way of speaking speaking through the eyes of others who must register my message on the trail of my cheeks and nose as if they were the pollens of dandelions, deposits for an unseen, unpromising spring. Should I slip this parcel into your palms, knowing sweat devours everything? And knowing Ogura, that makes that poem speak even more. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad that you feel that way. It resonates, to use the technical uh, literary term. Yes, yes. Well, you can also say that you can relate to it, but I, I never liked it when my students said that. So resonate is better. I, I, I feel more comfortable with resonate. Well, resonate to me is more meaningful because it's more exact. And, and my students would say, well, I can relate to the story. And I'd say, well, you relate to your roommate. You relate to your parents. That's too broad of a word. <laughs> and then they would get angry. But I, let's, let's not talk about my students. Okay. Well, that was really a lot of fun. I really have nothing else. So I will leave it the final words to you. Well, you want me to say something to sum up? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Dan. This has been a lot of fun. And that was that. If you'd like to hear the full interview, look for the podcast, Fair Folk at Work, and look for the interview on Jane Rosenberg LaForge. Questions, comments about this excerpt, please direct them to us here at Author Reads at djng at earthlink.net. If you have a poem or short story you'd like to share with us, either we could record it together or you could just send me a tape. Contact us at djng at earthlink.net. Thanks for listening and bye-bye till next time.